Are Olympics really worth it? No, we're not talking about the prestige, but the economics. Did you know that cities hosting Olympics end up spending more than their estimated budget? Yes, it's right. According to an Oxford study, the Olympics have the second highest average cost overrun of any type of mega project at 159%. In fact, every Olympic host has spent more than their estimated budget since at least 1960. This overspending has led to many cities withdrawing from the Olympics bid for hosting rights. Paris, in fact, is the first city to fully test cost-cutting reforms as introduced by the International Olympic Committee in 2019. The city's central argument in its bid for hosting rights was that reusing existing sporting facilities would help it avoid the steep capital investment that inflicted lasting economic pain on Olympic cities like Athens and Rio de Janeiro. But despite that, it will still end up spending at least $8.87 billion, which is about 115% above the initial estimate. In fact, Tokyo's budget for the 2020 Olympics, which were postponed to 2021 due to the pandemic, jumped nearly fourfold. And London's 2012 Olympic spending also tripled in its bid. In fact, even budgets of future games like Los Angeles 2028 have escalated from $5.3 billion to $6.8 billion. The paper has suggested some key solutions to prevent these gigantic cost overruns. Number one, better planning or what it calls decision hygiene, which basically advocates the use of historical data on cost and cost overruns. And in order to do this, the IOC should transparently capture data on the cost of the Games. Number two, taking inflationary pressures into account. Olympic Games are fixed about seven years in advance, no matter the economic conditions at the time. Therefore, inflation should also be a mandated component of future budgets or the budgets will continue to be misleading. And number three, Planners need to be more realistic about the uncertainties that projects as large as the Olympics face. Let us know your thoughts on this and stay tuned to NETV Profit for more such updates.